shake that body. Hey guys, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, I've just been asked recently about kick drums and tuning kick drums and so on or determining the pitch of a kick drum in Cubase and it's maybe not quite as easy as some other programs. There is a tuner in Cubase but basically that's really for kind of direct inputs of guitars and so on so you can't just put a tuner on a kick drum and kind of work out what pitch it is. So I'm going to do this, there's a few different ways and I'll show you some, some different methods of, of tuning and pitching. I'm going to do a few different kick drums as well because as you'll see not all are the same so there's just um, a kick drum I'll just turn that up a little bit for you so there's a kick so what we can do first of all is let's open up the mixer we can go in to our equalizer and if we press play you can see here basically the first transient is the pitch of the kick not a hundred percent guaranteed but you can see there we've got kind of G sharp sort of G G or A really again it's not massively precise but you can see there at least we're in a rough region um, be it a semitone or so so we're not too far off another way we can actually double click the sample and if we go to very audio pitch and warp you can see there it's kind of determined the pitch to be a which again which is kind of where we said but if you look at this waveform you can actually see this kick drums made up of two samples so that's why you get a slightly different um, note on the end because it, it's a layered kick by the looks of that sample so that's one way now the beauty of that is I guess within our track now that we know it's A or G we can use Groove Agent um, so let's open up Groove Agent and what I'm going to do there's already a kick on there but I'm just going to going to drag this across so there's our kick sample now and if I play C there it is and the beauty of this straight away we've got coarse pitch or fine so we can go up and down semitones or up and down one semitone using the fine so we can tune it and again that's a case of using your ears to make sure that it blends with the rest of your track and your bass but let's say your bass is in in G and this is in A we know we can just tweak the semitones now so it'll match your track so let's try that with another couple of kicks so let's put this one across and again you can see this is a completely different type of kick a lot shorter so again if we go to our EQ now you can see that it's quite broad but I would say it's probably probably about there I'd say B so again if we double click and pitch and warp okay so I'm a semitone out or two semitones out it's A according to this so again we're in a ballpark figure not a hundred percent accurate as you can see but we're kind of nearly there I guess and at least you're not massively second guessing you, you are definitely within a region so let's just again put that kick on let's have a listen and again we can pitch it so ideal let's do one more and is it that one have we done that one no let's have a look at that one let's just split that so again let's go to our EQ and I'd say about G sharp again we could be wrong so let's just let's just bounce it so it's one one note 
there we go so there you can see that's a another layered kick in fact that could be the same one but you get the idea so that's the concept really that I would use there is other ways of pitching for instance you can see Nate, uh, now that I've selected the kick you've got fine tune up here and transpose so you could do it that way or you could go into audio process and pitch now this way if we're going to a transpose section so a couple of different ways there really of, of roughly determining the pitch of the kick again like I said it's not necessarily ideal compared to some other uh, doors which maybe have a dedicated tuner that you can just put on the insert and recognize the uh, pitch of the kick instantly but this gets us where we need to be as far as I'm concerned you know it's it's all I use and I'm, I'm quite happy with it I don't think I need anything else um, again use your ears that's the most important tool you can definitely tell or I can certainly tell to some degree when something is out of tune and you can you can tell when you just pitch something once it comes into tune all of a sudden it just sounds right so again use your ears that's the most important tool so hope you found this useful until next time bye bye check that body get, get, get down.